Welcome to this beginner's guide to ZBrush. So going forward, my head is not going to appear in the video. The reason being is I want you to see the full interface, okay? So you can fully see everything that's going on. So what we're gonna do is we're going to be showing you all of the basic things you need to know to work with ZBrush before building your tool set of skills. So ZBrush is a very big program. There are millions of things that you could use it for and there's thousands of things that you can do inside of the application itself. So with that in mind, we're going to be covering the basics here. So I'm gonna be showing you how to load a tooling, uh, things to avoid, and the way the system works. And of course, how to navigate and show you a little bit about the brushes so that you can have a little bit of a play in the program and have all of the essential things you need to go to need to know in order to take further workshops. Now, depending on your ability uh, depends on the workshops that you might want to do moving forwards. However, if you're using any of my workshops, then this beginner's guide will give you the foundations to just jump in and choose whichever one you want. Now I'm going to talk more about my courses that I already have at the end of this training series. So for now, just learn the basics, have a play around with the program, see if you love the program, and then you want to expand your skills, or you might have a specific task in mind, or a specific niche in which you want to go, like jewelry design, or maybe printing for 3D printers, these kind of things. And we have courses that cover all of that. So you can look at that at the end. So the very last slide will be an introduction to all of the courses that I do. Now I've been using uh, ZBrush since its first iteration, so for many, many years. And I've worked with this program professionally for many, many years as well. My full-time job is actually doing online education and training. And in a previous life, I was a website designer, did graphic design, illustrations, and all of these things, and video editing. And now I'm going into all of the kind of creative side, which is digital sculpting, um, animation, game effects, uh, VFX work. So lots and lots of different things. So enjoy, and you will be guided and encouraged throughout this whole process. So just take it very slow and steady, learn the basics, and then you can accelerate through further workshops if you feel you need it.